Okay, this one right here. This little um, thing attaches to the toys. It's like a body armor, but I could not find one like it. So I went ahead and um, priced this kind of high. And you know what? It sold really quickly for my sale price. Of hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items that I source cheap and flip for a profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. My channel is all about bolos. I've got big money bolos, I've got bread and butter bolos, I've got featured members, um, I've got category videos where I gear in on a specific category. So if you guys want to learn about items you should be looking for to resell, definitely check out some of my other videos. Let's get started. There we go. All right. The first item I sold here is this dollhouse. Um, it's a black and white octagonal flooring for a dollhouse. How cute is this? I did pick this up at an estate sale. I paid up a little bit for it. Um, I paid $4 and for me, that's paying up. I ended up selling this for $35 and the buyer was all in for $44.35. So it's two sheets here. One of them was missing the top. Um, definitely a vintage item and very, very hard to find, I would say. And somebody was just looking for it. Can you imagine your little dollhouse bathroom floor? How cute would that be? The next item I sold is this Ronkenbach uh, trail. Uh, I'm sorry, train monorail so i have sold these before if you can find the ronkenbach it is definitely definitely a bolo i found a huge set at a garage sale probably a year or two ago and i sold i sold it pretty quickly and for big money now this one i picked up at the goodwill bins and i had no way to test it so i just marked it as untested somebody made me an offer of ten dollars and thirty cents and i went ahead and took it because it was untested uh, hoping it worked for them, but if it would have been tested, I could have gotten a lot more for this. So definitely be on the lookout for that vintage brand. The next item is this lace. This is just a mixed lot of lace. Um, I'm guessing some of it's vintage. Looks like kind of applique type deal. I don't know where I even got it. I can't even remember. I just threw it together in a little bundle. And somebody offered me $10 and I went ahead and took that. The buyer was all in for $17.27. When I say the all in price, that is with tax and shipping. I don't always say that, but um, just so you know. All right, this is a little Max and Ruby tie Beanie Baby plush. So this is Max the bunny and he has no tag. Um, he was picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. He's got his tush tag. He just doesn't have, you know, the little TY or tie tag at the top that's attached to like the ear. So I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold this for $12 plus shipping. The next item is these GoBots machine robo spoons, Taiwan variant. I, I don't know. I used a Google lens to figure this out. Uh, these are definitely not something that I was familiar with and I did not write down where I got it and what I paid for it. So I apologize. I want to say maybe these came out of a mystery box because I had not seen them before, but I do remember looking them up. They sold for $22.75 plus shipping. The next item here, I almost just donated. Um, they're stencils and they're creative memories. And I was like, you know what? They're creative memories and everything that I have that is creative memories has been flying out of my store. So I listed them. They came in a big garage sale bundle that I picked up. So I probably have about a dollar in these, all four of them. And I sold these for $14.30 plus shipping, and they sold pretty quickly. This item here is a Christmas on the Beach Dimensions. Now, this is a gold collection, which is something you definitely want to be on the lookout for. Some of the gold collection can be a big money bolo. I actually have a video on cross-stitch kits that sell for big money if you want to check that out. This one, however, is a petite. It's very, very small. And it is not a big money bolo. I ended up selling this for $10.50 plus shipping. And I picked it up at a thrift store for $2. 
So I knew that it would sell. I thought it would actually sell for a little more, but um, still made a profit. The next item is this uh, Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Picnic Table. And I sold this for $6.50 plus shipping. And um, the buyer was all in for $12. But somebody reached out to me the other day and they're like, what do you think about the Loving Family Dollhouse stuff? And I said, I feel like the market is kind of flooded and prices are down. I feel like people are selling it too cheap, um, which I sold this for $6.50, which normally I would like to get more than that. But this one didn't comp out high. So um, I have two huge totes of Loving Family and I'm just kind of holding off on it for now because I feel like eBay is flooded. So kind of wait and see how that goes. and. Eventually, I'll get it listed. The next item here is this Jazz Wears Laura Ashley Room by Room Dollhouse. Now, I believe I picked this up in a dollhouse lot, like a loving family lot. I can't remember for sure. It could have been in, um, actually, you know what? It might have been in a little garage sale bundle. Yeah, it was a bundle of toys at a garage sale, 50 cents. I ended up taking a best offer on this little guy for $12. And I used Google Lens to figure out who he was. He is not um, a loving family. He is jazz wares. So super, super cute. And I wasn't familiar with it. So Google Lens. And if you don't know how to use Google Lens, I do have a video that teaches you how to do that. It is free. You just download the app to your phone and it will help you identify things. It's incredible. This Barbie here, I just want to say that I am super impressed with my photo. This photo was taken on my porch on concrete. <laughs> and I used photo room and I'm like, oh my goodness, this looks like a stock photo from a store. Um, like it's, I just thought it turned out incredible. But you guys, if you're not using photo room, what it does is it, it whites out your background. And I have laid stuff in my driveway, like big, huge blankets. I used to have like a whiteboard that I would lay on my floor that my husband made me. Now I can just lay things on the carpet, take my pictures, and you would never know that stuff was laying on the carpet. It's incredible. And it's really not that expensive if you pay for the year. Um, and you can get 10% off the year if you use my link in the description of the video. So um, that link will give you 10% off, but you have to buy the yearly subscription to get that discount. But it's worth it. And if you do YouTube, it's also great for thumbnails. All right, let's move on here. Okay, so where did I get this? I got this at the Goodwill Benz and I sold it for a best offer of $16. The buyer was all in for $24.22 and it sold really quickly. So you can see here, um, you can even white it out with, when you're holding it in your hand. I do have some photo room videos if you guys want to check out how it works, but you can edit your um, photos in bulk, which is incredible. This is a plush dog that I picked up at a garage sale for a buck and it was in the original packaging. So that's how I took the picture. I wasn't going to take it out of the packaging. It's an Aurora uh, Mayoni stuffed plush toy. And it's a dog. And I sold this for $15 best offer plus shipping. This right here I pulled out of the Goodwill bins. And there is another brand. I can't think of what it's called. It's, it's vintage. But some of these go for big money. When I first saw this, I got kind of excited because I've sold one of these before for big money. But this one was not a big money one. <laughs> I ended up selling it for $19.50 plus shipping. It's still good. Um, I think the big money one is by Tumi or Tommy, T-O-M-Y. This one is, is just Waterfalls Cahoots toys. So the brand does make a difference, but they will still sell if you find the generic. And this is pretty, um, pretty big. It's about eight inches. So it's a water toy. The next item is this teeny tiny vintage Polly Pocket doll Petland Bunny from, um, it's a Bluebird, Polly Pocket. So Bluebird is the vintage. This is from 2000. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I sold this for $7.80 plus shipping. And you can see it's got like some paint loss and, you know, it's not perfect. It's old, old and played with. This here came from a garage sale. It was in that garage sale video I did. Um, I sold this for $22.75 plus shipping. She is a Barbie clone, Peggy Ann Burnett. And she says Hong Kong right here, I think. Or wait, right here, right here. It even says Peggy Ann. So this one was really easy to identify. 
The next item here are these Disney figures, and these came from a garage sale. I paid $1 for them. I got a whole bunch of little toys at this garage sale. That's really all I left there with. I remember exactly which sale it was. And I sold these for $19.50 plus shipping. Okay, this one right here. This little um, thing attaches to the toys. It's like a body armor. But I could not find one like it. So I went ahead and um, priced this kind of high. And you know what? It sold really quickly for my sale price of $16.25 plus shipping. This is Imaginex. It comes from the T-Rex Tribal Caveman, Caveman. And I was able to figure that out from Google Lens. But here's the best part. I got it at the bins, so I've got like a quarter or something in it. I dig to the bottom of the bins. If you guys watch my Goodwill bins videos, you will see me digging, digging, digging for small toys like this. I love it. The next item is this vintage 1990 Mars Halloween pumpkin candy bucket. It's a, like a blow mold style. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I took a best offer of 12 plus shipping. The next item here is the Sugarloaf Betty Rubble cartoon Flintstone stuffed animals um got this at a thrift store for a dollar and i took a best offer of ten dollars plus shipping vintage fisher price little people i've got a clown and a cowboy and these came from a garage sale and i sold these for a best offer of 19 dollars, and the buyer was all in for 26.25 on those this is disney high school musical school spirit um it's a doll right here this is what she looks like. And when I picked her up, um, I, I remember looking it up and thinking, oh, I'm probably going to have this a while. And it actually sold much quicker than I expected. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $22.75 plus shipping. Okay, do you guys remember the wig? So I did a video on these wigs and I actually received an offer for this exact wig for $15. And I was kind of like, should I have taken it, you guys? I didn't take it. And I had several comments that were like, you should have taken the $15. And I was like, I just feel like when I looked up comps, that person didn't, they charged not enough for this. I mean, it's in the original box. And I held out and I ended up selling it for $20 plus shipping. So you know, I could have sold it quicker for 15, but I was patient and I ended up selling it for 20. We're talking a $5 difference, not a big substantial difference, but pretty cool that it worked out for me. But I was starting to think, oh my goodness, did I mess up? Am I going to have this wig forever? Um, it's Vintage Global Dolls Curly Mary Francis doll wig and it's strawberry blonde there. The next item is this Hallmark Charlie Brown Christmas display, 50th celebration. They're like little ornaments here. They do come off. It's really a cute set. Uh, this came out of a thrift store mystery box, and I ended up taking a best offer of $15 for this, and the buyer was all in for $22.75. Probably had about a dollar in that. The next item is this another vintage clone doll. Now, this one is only seven and a half inches. She is not as big as a traditional Barbie. And she just says Hong Kong on her back. So I wasn't really sure what to call her. Um, but somebody found her. They offered me nine bucks. And I went ahead and took that. And I got her at a garage sale for 50 cents. And the buyer paid shipping. These right here are the motorized trains. They are from 2009. They're by Mattel, uh, Percy, and Thomas the Train and Friends. They're, they go with the Trackmaster set. Tested and working batteries not included. I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold them for $26 plus shipping. The next item is this 1957 Whitman Color Kit Children's Color and Paint Set used. This took forever to sell. I mean, it's kind of a hot mess, honestly, but I just couldn't leave it behind. I'm like, somebody is going to want this. And they did. It just took about four years to sell, maybe longer. I don't remember. I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it, but I just, I couldn't leave it behind, obviously, because um, it's in my eBay store. I sold this for a best offer of $9 plus shipping. This here is so cute. It's a handmade uh, wood log pumpkin, fall decor, kind of has that rustic look. I got this in a thrift store mystery box also, took best offer of $14 plus shipping. The last item here is this apple. It's a Bath and Body Works Slatkin and Company scent bug. It's a fragrance oil diffuser. And I've done really good with this Slatkin and Company 
uh, brand. So whenever I see it, I definitely pick it up. I found this at the Goodwill bins actually. And I sold this for a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, those were my bread and butter bolos. Tell me which one was your favorite, the most unexpected. And thank you for being here. Check out another video. They're going to be popping up here and here and down below and a subscribe button. So if you're not as if you are not subscribed to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me an emoji of an owl or just write the word hoot in the comments. Thanks for watching.